Apart from being asked like, how do you do the trick? The number one thing I get asked on a daily is how the hell do you manage to shuffle cards like that? Well, on today's video, you are gonna learn how to shuffle cards overhand, Hindu, and Whiffle. We're gonna leave out Pharaoh perfect shuffles because they are way too hard to be doing it as a beginner and don't even think about false shuffles. My name's Eskudman52. Make sure you like, you subscribe, and you comment down below, and welcome Back to basics. Okay guys, so like I said, we're gonna learn how to shuffle today. And more importantly, we're gonna understand why we shuffle. Now let's be honest, as a magician, there's not really any point that we do shuffle cards, except for them to convince our audience that the cards are really mixed up. Today, we're gonna learn three different types of shuffles. We've got the Hindu shuffle, we have the overhand shuffle, and we have the riffle shuffle. Three different types of shuffling, but if you're gonna be a magician, you need to learn how to shuffle cards. But as well as that, you need to, to basically, this is the rule, okay? This is the rule. We're gonna get into this quickly. The rule is, when you're a magician, is you need to be skilled enough that you know what you're doing. But when you perform to a spectator, you need to act like you are not this super master of playing cards who knows how to do everything in the world. So you're gonna learn how to shuffle, but you're not gonna make it out to be this whole big deal that like, look at me, you can shuffle so well, look at me, oh, it's so cool. <laughs> make sure you go grab a deck of playing cards, and let's get into it. So prior to getting into this and we lower the camera down, make sure you go check out the first video on just how to hold the cards and what cards are. Because it's definitely going to help in this. It's going to make you feel a lot more comfortable when you're holding the deck of playing cards. So let's just wind that tripod down. Let's get a little bit better angle and let's go over three types of shuffles that we're going to teach you on today's video. So for the purpose of the video, I am using the Red Wheels by DKNG collaboration with Art of Play. These are a great sort of like step up from the bicycle playing cards. They're pretty much very similar. Great stock as well and great design work. So the first one we're gonna learn is the overhand shuffle. Now the overhand shuffle is probably the easiest shuffle to learn and it's pretty much like the majority one if you were just playing card games at home, this is what you're gonna do. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna hold the cards in your dominant hand. So your right hand, if you're right-handed, your left hand, if you're left hand. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold them in a bit of grip, like we learned in the first video, and you're gonna just let some literally just fall off into your left hand, like this. And you're gonna let some more fall off the top and more fall off the top more fall off the top and more and that's it this is what it'll be like for you guys because if i do it with my left hand onto my right it's like the opposite it's like kind of how you guys learn so it's going to feel a little bit like this oh that feels so weird so you let some drop off uh, and it's more and it's more and some more and you basically want to keep just doing that until you feel used to just letting the cards come out so when you get used to it this is what it'll sort of look like and it almost looks like this hand's not doing anything it's just flapping about but it's literally just boom 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 Boom. So you can see here, so my thumb's sort of reaching across and peeling the cards off and then sort of releasing them and going down like this. And it's just a nice way to just shuffle the cards. Now you can shuffle them on top and when you get used to it, you can do something like this. You can shuffle on top, behind, on top, behind, on top. Same principle, all you're doing is you're letting some drop off and then you're going to lift up the pack with your thumb and let some drop behind and push it together with your fingers. Let it come back down, drop some back onto the top pull it back up with your thumb, drop some off with your fingers. One reason we might use the overhand shuffle is if we were gonna retain a card. So for example, if we knew that the top card was the three of spades, I can take the card off, I can shuffle a load of cards on top, and that three is still on the bottom of the cards. And again, we can then retain it by holding onto the deck with all our fingers on the bottom side of the cards and all the fingers on the top of the cards, and we're gonna pull off so we get two cards together, and then we're just gonna drop on top here like this. And I can continue to do that, and it looks like the cards are really getting shuffled, when in fact, I've still got the three on the bottom, just there. And if I wanted to bring the three to the top, I would pull the cards off, and like we did earlier, shuffle them behind, and the three's on top. To show you that with the card face down, ready? That really looks like I have shuffled those cards, and I have. All the 51 other cards are shuffled apart from that three, which is on the bottom. Now one thing to do, and as you can see, is to make it look really sloppy. The sloppier you make it look, the less it looks like you're actually controlling anything with these shuffles. And it can hide anything, like if you were to do sh false shuffles, or if you were to do controls from the bottom to the top, or the top to the bottom. So the next shuffle I want to talk about is the Hindu shuffle. The Hindu shuffle is primarily named because it's how they actually shuffle cards in India. In order to do the Hindu shuffle, which kind of looks like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the cards again in your right hand or left-handed if you're left-handed and you're gonna hold it in a slightly different biddle grip. So normally we go end to end on our biddle. We're gonna hold it side to side. And the predominant of your grip is gonna be in your fingertips on the bottom packet. And the shuffling process is you're essentially sliding off the top part and then just dropping it into your hand like this. 
again, just drop off. We can do that face up if you really want, see the cards. Now when you're taking the packet off, you're going to do exactly the same motion as you're doing with your right hand, but reverse on the bottom of the deck. So it's the middle finger and your thumb are going to grip the top packet, you're going to pull off and let it drop into your palm. Come back, pull off, let it drop into your palm. And you're going to just repeat the process over and over again. And as you can see, look, that's just so simple. I'm only taking a couple of cards at the time, but now it just really looks properly shuffled. And this is how you guys will be doing it. I don't ever shuffle left hand into right, um, and it feels really unnatural for me because it's like brand new. Now with the Hindu shuffle, another great thing that you can do with it is you can force a card using it. Now we haven't spoken about forces yet. <laughs> so forcing a card is basically when you want the spectator to pick a specific card that you want to do a trick with. So for example, we're going to use the King of Spades. That's the card I want you to pick. So I'm going to put the King of Spades on the bottom of the deck and we're going to force it like this. So we're going to just keep shuffling and you just tell me when you want to stop. There. And that's the card you've selected. It did really slowly the first time, but we've got the King of Spades on the bottom again. And I'll show you very quickly how that looks if you do it fast. Really sloppy in the left hand. I'm holding it really tight in the right hand in this um, sideways middle grip. And there we go, we've got the King of Spade and I've just forced that you to pick it. And from watching it, if you watch it very carefully, look, it looks like the cards are really shuffled. And in fact, yeah, all 51 cards are shuffled apart from the 52nd card, which I want you to pick. And the last one that I'm gonna teach you guys, the third one is the Riffle Shuffle. Now the Riffle Shuffle is probably one of the harder of the three, but when you get it down, it's really easy and it comes in a couple of steps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this down really easy. Again, in your right hand, if you're right-handed, hold the cards in the middle grip and curl that index finger underneath against the back of the cards like this. And you can start to see there's a bit of a bend going on. Now normally with Biddle, we just use our middle finger, but we're gonna include the ring finger and the little finger on the bottom, just for a little bit of added security. So what I tend to do with the thumb, and you'll see on the top part here, I have it on the corner. And that allows, when I push down my thumb, cards to spring off. So this is the first step, is splitting the pack in two. We're gonna, with our thumb, pull back on this corner and let the cards go off the corner of your thumb. Once you get about halfway the pack, I'm gonna put my thumb on top, rotate it round, and I'm now in this grip. Now what I tend to do, as a little tip, it's hold the cards like this. So I secure the cards with my little finger and my index finger, because as you're riffling them and you fold them over, some can get a bit loose. Just gonna tap these together, just for security. When you get used to doing this more often, you're not probably gonna have to tap it as much, but it's just to line all the cards up, and you're gonna do the exact same motion, but pointing down. And I like to start with my thumbs touching each other, because then I know the cards are gonna interweave. So you're gonna, again, hold the cards, like you did at the beginning. So you're gonna hold them with your fingers at the bottom, your index finger curled and pushing on the back, and then your thumb is pulling like this. And what you're gonna do, turn your wrist so they're pointing down, touch your thumbs together, pull, and then let go. And those cards are interweave. Now, as you can see here, what I tend to do is interweave the corner first, and then I rotate it round and form the bridge. We'll go with that one more time. So in this position, we've got fingers on the bottom, We've got our thumbs on the top, gonna to pull it, and we've got our index finger curled underneath to give it that bow, that bend. Touch fingers together, and what I tend to do is from this position, just let it drop so the corners interweave. Once the corners have interweaved, you're gonna rotate the cards so they're straight, and I'm gonna sort of do a top-down look so you see how this looks. Now from this point, you're gonna put your thumbs on the top of the cards and push down, but not too hard, and your fingers are gonna be at the end. So once you're in this position where your thumbs are on top, you can see my fingers are underneath the deck, like so, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend. And this forms a bridge. And as you can see, as soon as you push your hands together, they will release. So riffle, turn over the cards, knuckles, release, push together, form that bridge, and as you form the bridge, you release a bit of pressure and they all interweave. Now with this, there are ways in which you can control cards. So when you riffle off, if you wanna know where the bottom card is and you wanna keep it in the same place, you just let your left hand go first and then you're right on top. If you wanna maintain the top stock, you just do the opposite. You riffle off, you let the cards go down and you just make sure that your right hand is the one that drops the least amount of cards or drops last and then that card, the Queen of Hearts, that was on the top, this remains on the top. So you can do it with both cards. So we've got the Six of Diamonds on the bottom, Queen of Hearts on the top. And what we're gonna do, exactly the same. We're gonna riffle the cards and turn them over, straighten them up, let the left card go first, 
then the right hand, and just make sure that the right hand is the last one to let go. We shuffle the cards with the bridge, and you still got the queen on the top and the six on the bottom. So they are the three types of shuffle that you can use as a beginner to start practicing how to shuffle with a little bit of variations of techniques along the way that you can use for different things just to get your mind thinking. Now the whole point of this series again is to put you in the right direction. I've now spoke about shuffling and controlling cards during the shuffles. So you start to hear words now like control, force, oh. Hello boy, oh. Oh, mate, you're right. Yeah, not bad. Just uh, I'm filming a YouTube at the minute, so say hello to the screen. Hello, screen. How you doing? <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. I haven't spoken to my friend Reese in a while, and it's a sample opportunity that he phoned me while I was filming the video. But, like I said, I'm putting out different words out there for you now, and what I need to do is I need to give you the sort of tools to go out there and research for yourself. So, for example, words like control and force have now been sort of given to you in your vernacular, in your vocabulary. And that's the whole point of this. I want to just guide you guys in the right direction and learn about things that you can then go away and do your own research. I don't want to tell you this is the exact blueprint on how to be a magician, because I want to give you guys sort of like a stepping stone of what steps are the next steps to take in a natural progression if you wanted to learn magic. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like, you subscribe, you comment down below anything cool that you like, and just keep Charlie Ann cut. And that's, I hold, basically, you can't see off camera, but I'm just holding cards and doing Charlie Ann cut. Like I said, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If have make sure you give it a like you subscribe you share it on all your social medias and tell all your friends about it and i will see you on the next one Bye. Hi. what was that it's a dance video that's not what i'm saying you're gonna focus on me ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah.